here at the edge of the Salah, the salt desert, the Atacama Desert, mm -hmm. which is just behind us there. And we can actually see some mining companies in, in mining operations in the distance. Yeah, that's right. So behind us, um, the biggest amount of, uh, I guess, dust that you can see in the distance on the horizon is from the SQM, Soki Mitch, they used to be called, but SQM, lithium miners. And uh, next to them, also behind us, is the smaller lithium mine. So both of those lithium mines um, yeah, operate on the Salar de Atacama, the Atacama salt pan, which is behind us. Correcto, ¿no? Sí. Ahora está rodeado Calama. Ya no hay por dónde crecer. Solamente vamos a tener que crecer para arriba. Porque está todo comprado por mm. eh, empresas mineras. Mm. El único lugar que no está comprado por empresas mineras es el sector de Topater. Ah, sí. Pero es el sitio arqueológico. Que eh, lo más probable es que lo levanten y lo saquen y se haga todo ahí. So mining is a big issue, but behind us is also Pena, um, your, your main fieldwork site, mm. a small town, also at the edge of the Salah. Mm. And the Salah has been um, a, a life-giving resource for them for, for a long period of time. And we've actually gone and, and visited one of the mm. lagoons, one of the, mm. the places where there's water in the salt desert. Mm. So yesterday we went, we visited the place where in the past they used to um, harvest uh, salt, blocks of salt to trade with their neighbours who are just t over this way from, from where we're sitting here now, Sokaide. En medio ambiente. Y la tradición de esa cárcel. Y la tradición ya pasó de mala. No es el medio ambiente más. Porque ahora como está pasando. Ya estamos viendo lo que está pasando. Sí. Um, this being the most arid place in the world, mm. water is always an issue. Mm. And we've got the mining companies, we've got places, oases um, mm. that are being used by the local people here. Um, can you give us some context about the, the contestation of water as a, mm. as a resource for agriculture on the one hand and uh, mm. a resource for mining on the other? So people here use water that comes from uh, particular springs. So Atacameños, people who are original indigenous to this area, also referred to as Likanantai, they um, they occupy, they use water from springs, particular springs in this area, which feed the oases. So behind us is Peine, which has three springs that feed its agricultural fields in Tilomonte, 15 kilometers that way. And that is also an, um, is fed by a spring, which is further up in the, in the mountains here. Today, we also went to a sector, an area called, um, that the miners have renamed Negri Yad. And in that area, um, a whole, there's a field, they call it a field, a campo, of, um, of wells, where, where two copper mining companies uh, are extracting water, subterranean water. So you have two kinds of water in a sense here. You have, um, you have water, it doesn't look like you have much water, but actually there's, there, are, there are springs that feed the oases, the agricultural o oases. And then um, there, is, uh, there are these subterranean aquifers um, which, from which mining companies extract. Negrillar. 
se habían, cuando se han organizado las comunidades, se han marcado los territorios uh -huh. y recién se organizó también las comunidades. Entonces, sí, pues aquí más antes no había nada. No, no había nada, pues éramos como cualquier chileno. Entonces ahí, sí, y ahí y llegó escondida, claro, sí. llegó escondida porque ya ellos, los, cuando ellos pidieron en la parte de los pozos, ya estaba, ya había ley indígena, pues ya estaba la ley indígena. Tiene solamente un convenio con Minera con, Escondida. Escondida, Escondida, claro. No con Saldívar. No, no con, con Saldívar, Saldívar no, porque ahí, como ellos, como le decía, estos pozos los sacaron antes de la ley indígena. Claro, Entonces antes. ahí ya no hubo ninguna negociación ni nada. Sí hubo un acercamiento, conversaciones después, con después, ellos, después. mucho mm. después, como mm. el año 2001, 2002, mm. por ahí. Una, claro, entonces, una, si el agua nos sacan de... arriba, es lo que se va a secar abajo. Mm. Pero si el agua sacan más abajo, no, no, no vamos a secar. Mm. ¿no? Claro. Se va a secar, pero allá van los lados. Claro. En el caso de Minera Escondida, operado por BHP Billiton, a co the, one of the biggest copper mines in the world, which operates just um, a little way down the road here. Uh, they extract uh, just over a thousand litres a second from the aquifer um, uh, that's in that portion. So that's registered with, um, that's registered water rights in, in Chile in the early 1980s. Um, the, the Pinochet government uh, introduced a law called the Código de Agua, the Water Code in 1981, and that privatized all, all water rights. So that meant that, um, particularly for this region, um, particularly what you have in this region is mining, lots of mining wealth. And uh, what the mining, the mining law and the water law enabled that were, that were put in place by, by Pinochet at that time, they enabled Uh, mining companies to register and own the rights to extract water at a certain amount. Mm -hmm.